Chuck E. Cheese's, the place where a kid can be a kid, I'm sure has played a part in your life somehow. Whether you remember it from your childhood, the experience nobody could ever forget. Or maybe you're all grown up now, and you're letting your own children have the experience you had. Nevertheless, Chuck E. Cheese has more than likely had an influence on your life, big or small. But many people remember Chuck E. Cheese for different reasons. Some people remember it for the vast amount of games and rides each location features. Others remember it for the iconic animatronic shows the company has had since the very beginning. Many people remember the tasty pizza, awesome sandwiches, they also had an entire salad bar along with chicken wings. But to some people's surprise, Chuck E. Cheese used to carry foods outside of its restaurants and retail stores, and that's what I would like to talk about today. From frozen pizza, to cheese crackers, and even gummies, this is a retrospective on Chuck E. Cheese's retail foods. It's very apparent in the mid-1990s, Chuck E. Cheese was going through some major changes to appeal more to the kids of that era. This included updating their locations with new prizes, games, and remodels, various new ad campaigns, and the company was just overall trying to reach as many people as possible. And not just in their own locations, but in the form of products you could buy at other stores. This includes Barbie dolls, various toys that are super obscure nowadays and hard to find, and of course, food. The earliest example of Chuck E. Cheese retail food I could find are these cheese crackers. Now as to why Chuck E. Cheese decided to enter the cheese cracker market, I have no idea. Maybe it's because, well, you know, Chuck E. Cheese has cheese in his name, or maybe they just wanted to compete with other brands like Cheez-Its. The box has that classic Coach Chucky logo with him in his red sweater, which also means these were probably produced around the mid-90s. You can also see on the box that they were produced by a company called R.W. Frookey. They produced other cookies and snacks, and I don't think they exist anymore. The cheese crackers were very obscure, and this is the only other picture we have of the box, and you can see some sort of advertisements on the side. Every box came with a coupon where if you brought it into your local Chuck E. Cheese and bought a large pizza, you would get free tokens along with it. And yeah, unfortunately that's all we know about these cheese crackers, as they're very obscure and must have not been on shelves for too long, they were most likely discontinued sometime in the late 90s. And as far as I know, cheddar is the only flavor they made of these crackers. Did you guys ever try these or see them in stores? Let me know in the comments below, but let's move on to the next item. This next item is a little more interesting, since you couldn't purchase food straight from the store, but you had to make it with this item. Of course, I'm talking about none other than the Chuck E. Cheese's Pizza Factory from 1999. This was a toy produced by wham -O, and kids could make their own Chuck E. Cheese pizza with it at home. The box is really nice, featuring artwork of classic 90s Chuck E. Cheese, along with advertising the free tokens you'd get along with the product, and showing the Pizza Factory toy, of course. Here's the other side of the box, featuring some kids playing with the Pizza Factory. Once out of the box, you would receive a Chuck E. Cheese pizza oven with the Chuck E. Cheese logo from the 90s and early 2000s, and also a nice looking Chuck E. statue on it, along with the pizza ingredients, utensils, pans, tokens, and a set of instructions. The Pizza Factory encouraged kids to make their pizzas with unique designs, using the ingredients to make silly shapes and patterns. But to make the pizza, all you have to do is put it in the pan, put it in the oven, and let it cook for the certain amount of time listed in the instruction guide. Also something pretty cool, they made refill boxes with all the ingredients once you ran out of the ones that came in the original package. This item has become infamous within the Chuck E. Cheese community, and the general public as well, and I can see why, it's really neat and nostalgic to many people. There were even multiple TV commercials produced for the item, and they were pretty cool featuring unique animations of Chuck E. Many YouTubers have taken a look at this item, including Chadtronic, 
I recommend going and watching his video over it. If you'd like to own a Chuck E. Cheese Pizza Factory, there are a few for sale online on sites such as eBay, although I will tell you, they can go for a lot of money. And of course, if you do decide to get a Chuck E. Cheese's Pizza Factory, please buy new ingredients. The ones included are over 20 years old at this point, that would not be good for you. But anyways, let's move on. In 1999, Chuck E. Cheese decided to release another food product besides the Pizza Factory. And guess what it was? Chuck E. Cheese's very own Mac and Cheese. This item is another pretty obscure one, but I'm gonna tell you all that I know about it. It was released in 1999, like I said, and featured much Chuck E. Cheese artwork back from the 90s that we all know and love. The box has Chucky right on the front holding a piece of cheese and also saying super cheesy. And of course the classic 90s Chuck E. Cheese logo. The back of the box had a coupon you could bring into your local Chuck E. Cheese for 10 free tokens. And also featured some promotion where you could win plush prizes. This used to be the only photo of Chuck E. Cheese Mac and Cheese online until this year when an eBay listing of a non-open package of the Mac and Cheese appeared. And that listing is why we now have so many good photos of the Chuck E. Cheese Mac and Cheese. Did you guys ever get to try this item? Let me know in the comments. But now it's time to move on. Back in the late 90s and early 2000s, we all know the most iconic version of Chuck E. Cheese, Avenger Chuck E., made his debut. And with this came loads of new food products. Beginning in the mid-2000s, Chuck E. Cheese started releasing fries as snacks in grocery stores. This includes cheese flavored, pizza flavored, and tangy madness flavored. The packages were really nice looking, with vibrant colors and the classic 2004 Chuck E. Cheese logo, with Avenger Chuck E. holding a piece of cheese once again. I imagine they were pretty similar to other snack fries you can buy at convenience stores today. Did you guys ever get to try these fries? Let me know in the comments. I'm kind of curious how they tasted. Also around this time period, Chuck E. Cheese decided to release their own pizza gummies. While most photos show them in boxes, it seems like they could also be purchased in a bag version. The packaging had a lot in common with the fries I showed earlier, featuring the 2004 Chuck E. Cheese logo with Avenger Chuck E. on the front. Except this time, he's holding a pizza. While the pizza gummies and snack fries I mentioned earlier were discontinued probably around the late 2000s, we're not done with Avenger food items, so let's move on. What if I told you in the late 2000s, Chuck E. Cheese decided to make another pizza making playset? This version isn't as well known as the 1999 version, and it was made by Easy to make instead of Whammo. The box is pretty basic, showing the Chuck E. Cheese logo, easy to make logo, the product itself, and kids using the product. This version was kinda similar to the 1999 version, coming with the ingredients for the pizza, utensils, pans, plates, etc. However, this version did not come with a functioning oven, and instead encouraged kids to microwave the pizzas. Like the 1999 version, you could buy refill packs to keep making more pizzas. And it seems like there were also different boxes that this set came in, like this version that I found. There was even a Spanish version. Commercials were also made for this version of the pizza maker. This playset was discontinued probably around the early 2010s, and if you'd like to get one for yourself, you can find a couple on eBay, although they are a bit pricey. While the 1999 version is definitely more nostalgic and well known, this version is also very valid, and I think it's pretty cool, but let's move on. Before we're done with the Avenger Chucky era of foods, there's one more product we have to go over. And this was the first Chuck E. Cheese retail food item I got to try for myself. I remember getting them at the grocery store. Of course, I'm talking about the Chuck E. Cheese's String Cheese. These cheese sticks are very nostalgic to me, and at one point, they were even featured on the Chuck E. Cheese website. 
It came in three different flavors. Whirls, which were my favorite, which each stick was made up of multiple different kinds of cheese. Light, which was just normal string cheese, but I guess it was healthier. And then normal string cheese. You could also get the normal string cheese in a red package that came with double the amount. Each package had nice, vibrant colors and patterns, featuring the Chuck E. Cheese's logo along with Chuck E. holding the string cheese. Each package also came with 12 free Chuck E. Cheese tokens. These cheese sticks were a major part of my childhood, but then something changed. As most of us know by now, in 2012, Chuck E. Cheese introduced a new mascot of Chuck E. called Rockstar Chuck E which is still used today. And this change was going to affect the retail food products. And with this, all of the string cheese products were rebranded with the new mascot. The string cheese stayed around for a few more years, but was discontinued sometime around the mid to late 2010s. But string cheese wasn't the only product that Rockstar Chucky brought along with it. Shortly after Rockstar Chucky's debut, they decided to enter the yogurt industry. And just like the string cheese, all of the yogurt items came with tokens. Different boxes of the yogurt featuring different flavors were made, such as the orange box, which had melon berry and cotton candy. A yellow box that came with strawberry banana and cotton candy. A green box that came with strawberry and blueberry. Lastly, a blue box that also came with strawberry and blueberry. I remember these yogurts being extremely good, and I wish they were still produced, but they were discontinued sometime around the mid to late 2010s, like the string cheese. There was also apparently Chuck E. Cheese shredded cheese released around this time, but I could only find one photo of it, and I don't remember ever seeing it, so it must have been pretty obscure. But as the late 2010s and early 2020s approached, all of these items were discontinued and we were left without any retail foods by Chuck E. Cheese. But then, something big happened that changed everything. As we all know, in early 2020, COVID-19 took the world by storm. Chuck E. Cheese ended up filing for bankruptcy because of this, and they had to get creative and come up with some new ideas to stay afloat, including movies and some other things. And one of the ideas they came up with was frozen pizza. This product was going to be exclusive to Kroger stores. And the pizzas came in two flavors, cheese and pepperoni. And while the front sides of the boxes were pretty minimum, the back side was really cool, with a maze kids could play on the back. Each pizza also came with a coupon for 250 free e-tickets. The feedback for this pizza is less than pleasing, with many people giving it one star and saying it tastes like cardboard. I actually got a few of the cheese pizzas and tried them myself. I'd probably give the pizza 5 or 6 out of 10. It was decent, but left a lot to be desired. If you want to give this pizza a try, I think Kroger still carries them, and maybe they branched out to a few more grocery stores. I'm not sure. Let me know in the comments. I've had a great time looking back on these Chuck E. Cheese foods of the past and present. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Be sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Bye for now.